Merry Christmas, y'all. You know, I have never made this particular bread pudding uh, on any of my shows, I don't think. Uh, but it's got really, really high marks from all of y'all out there who have made it. And this is a great Christmas recipe. Uh, if you're having a bunch of folks come into your house for the holiday, this is wonderful to make ahead. Pull it out of the refrigerator and bake it uh, in the morning for breakfast before you celebrate, start opening presents and celebrating Christmas. Or uh, you can serve this as a dessert. It's just that good. So the name of it is the best Southern bread pudding. And it's a very simple one. I've got, I've got, ooh, three or four really top-notch bread pudding recipes. Uh, so don't confuse this one with like the praline French toast. So that's it. That's all I got to say, y'all. <laughs> now, uh, the recipe calls for three cups of cubed French bread. And you can just put it in a bowl like last night and let it just kind of dry out a little. And I'm not even gonna bother toasting it. So I've got two cups of sugar and five eggs. Is that right, Teresa? Yes, ma'am. Is that what I got? Okie doke. So thank you for beating up my eggs. Teresa. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. Two cups of sugar. And I've got two cups of, is that half and half cream or milk? If you're trying to cut back it's, a little bit, oh, you can milk. use a, a 2% milk. Uh, if you're trying to cut cut little calorie corners, uh, half and half is probably the, the real deal mode. Okay. make sure that's incorporated real well. And I'm gonna put in two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And Eddie ordered us a big old package of vanilla beans. And so I know what we're giving for Christmas. It's not gonna be ready in time for them to use it at Christmas but maybe they can pull it out like on Valentine's Day. All righty, I'm gonna spray a 13 by 12 by two pan. And I'm gonna toss our cubed French bread into our dish. And I think the recipe called for how much? Three cups. Three cups of bread. You know what? I think we need one to grow on, so that may be about four cups. Cause we've got a lot of a lot of juice here. So I'm gonna pour this over our French bread. Mm -mm. Yum. Yum, yum. Now we're gonna let this sit here for about 10 minutes. And that's gonna give that French bread uh, just a couple of minutes to soak up that wonderfully sweet cream. All right. So we need a topping for this, don't we? Surely that's not fattening enough. <laughs> So I've got, how much brown sugar do I have, Teresa? One cup. One cup, that's what I thought. One cup packed. And half a cup of softened butter. I'm just gonna kinda mix this with my hand. The recipe calls for like a cup of nuts. 
pecans actually. So, but I'm using walnuts. It really doesn't matter, you know, what kind of nut, just the one that you got the most of and the one that you like. This looks delicious. And then after we get this on there, y'all think it's fattening enough? Well, it ain't, <laughs> cause we gonna uh, make a brandy sauce to pour over it. I'm a happy girl. Okay, so this has been soaking up that custard for about, about the whole 10 minutes that it called for. I'm just dunking it down to make sure that each cube, you know, got, got something to drink. <laughs> All right. Next step is to sprinkle our brown sugar and nut mixture on top of our bread pudding. And I'm, I'm just so glad that y'all love this recipe. I just love it when I, when I put out a recipe that y'all really, really, really love and uh, add it to your repertoire and do it all year long. I love that. So then we're gonna, we're gonna put this in a 350 degree preheated oven and we're gonna bake it for like 35 to 45 minutes or until it's set. Just wanna make sure that the egg custard is done. Look at that wonderful Southern bread pudding, y'all. Uh, like I said, <laughs> it was two layers. We did the pudding first and then we did the crunchy top with the brown sugar and the walnuts. Now I'm fixing to make the sauce that we're gonna put on top of this. <laughs> it's a triple hitter, honey. <laughs> All right, I've got, I can't remember how much I've got. That's a stick. Okay, a stick of melted butter. I think that was two cups of sugar, was it not? Yes, ma'am. Two cups of sugar. Two eggs. No, one egg. One egg. That was a big egg. I must have bought jumbos. And uh, I've got that over kind of medium heat. And that's great uh, that you don't have to temper anything as long as you put that egg in right at the beginning. Looking good. All right. We're going to add a little brandy to uh, our bread pudding sauce. And again, we don't want to cook anything. You know, we just want to, to make sure our sugar's melted and our butter's melted. And now I'm gonna add our brandy. And if you're worried about children in the brandy uh, or somebody that has decided to take, oops, alcohol out of their life totally, uh, I don't think there's anything to be worried about. I think that that, that brandy will cook off. What do you two think? I don't know, I've heard, of, I've heard some people say that it does not cook. <laughs> oh, I've always heard it's cook, it cooked off. Yeah, that's it, it does I, cook out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what the I The alcohol heard. does. I mean, the flavor profile doesn't, yeah. but the alcohol will yeah. burn off. Yeah, always. The alcohol. That's, yeah. that's what I've always been under the impression, not under the influence, but under the impression. <laughs> I got that question a lot when I did catering. Oh, did you? Mm -hmm. Well, I've had some people along the way that, you know, had become teetotalers that yeah. they would You can wouldn't. leave it out, you can leave the flavor Yeah, you know. absolutely. If you don't want the brandy, leave it out. All right, now I'm still gonna need my vanilla flavoring. I'm going to wait until everything melts before I add that vanilla. Now, the beauty of this is you could uh, make that and cover it and put it in the refrigerator, bake it off the next morning, and you have a delicious divine breakfast in no time. 
Okay, I hear it melting. I hear it melting. I'm right, gonna add like a teaspoon of vanilla. You know, they say not to, not to add any kind of extracts until the very last because the flavor will cook out of it. So that's why I waited to add our vanilla. Can't wait. I can't wait. It's been a while. Look at this wonderful bread pudding, would you? Look at that. Mm. What'd you say, Teresa? I love bread pudding. Mm. I love bread. <laughs> I love bread. <laughs> Look at that beautiful piece of French bread right there. Mm. Mm. Okie dokie. I was just about wanting to boil. Now, normally you would just pour this all over your bread pudding, but uh, I think I'm just gonna pour some over my piece. <laughs> and y'all can pour some over y'all's piece. How about that? <laughs> if y'all want a piece. I'm, I'm swallowing hard. <laughs> just took my vitamins and they're so nasty. <laughs> I keep burping them. <laughs> okay, look. What a great Christmas dish. I mean, it's just one of those wonderful, sinfully fattening, satisfying dishes that mama makes. Your guest may not leave. <laughs> Caution. <laughs> or if they leave, they may take the dish with them. <laughs> it's delicious, y'all. Merry Christmas, and I hope you like the bread pudding. Hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.